Hi folks! In this video I'm going to be making this t-shirt from uploading the image to application with my Easy Press. So I'm going to be using quite simple image I'm going to upload and get it from my photo library. I'm going with this Stormtrooper image. The first thing that I want to do is delete the background and I'm going to be making my black layer for the background with the white layer on top. So if you look at the right hand side at the top you'll see that I have a solid black image there. I'm going to go next and I'm going to tap smooth, let's say twice, just to make sure that my edges will be nice and clean when I cut it out. We'll go next again. I'm going to choose the cut layer, which is a solid black one, and I'll just initial it for what I'm using it for. I'll select it and insert it on my screen and that will be the black layer for my iron-on. I'll upload again, go back to my photo library, get that same image again, and now I'm going to use the wand to remove the background and everything that is black because all I need is the white layer now. We can see again on the top right corner that it looks pretty clean. We'll go next I'm going to use smooth again. Actually, I see a little dot, so I'm going to go to despeckle and see. There we go. We remove that dot. I'll click next and I'll save that file. And I'll call it str2. Done my shorthand for my file names. Select and insert. I'm going to my layers panel and this is going to be my white layer. This will fit over. So I'm going to be cutting this out. Let's go edit align center. There we go. That didn't really matter because it's going to cut separately white and black anyway. I'm going to be cutting this out to use on an iron-on project. So let's go ahead. I hope you'll stay tuned and keep watching. So we're ready to do our cut. I hope that you can see on my iPad screen. Whenever I do iron-on, whether it's necessary or not, I mirror image. It's a really good habit. That way you have fixed in your head, in your brain, that you mirror image iron-on. So whether you're doing words or not, you won't forget to mirror image. I do it for everything iron-on. So let's go ahead and get started. See, I believe we're starting with the black layer. I'm using my air tube for this. Oh, this mat is very sticky. There we go. I'll just roll it out with my Cricut brayer. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. I'll choose iron on. I have it in my favorites list. And we'll go ahead and cut.
And there's our first layer. Set that aside. And we'll do our second layer, our white layer. Wow, I picked a sticky mat. I will put it under there so I can line it up. Okay, use my brayer again to make sure there's no air bubbles that will make for a crooked, crooked cut, a crooked cut, a crooked cut, and we'll load. All done cutting, so I'm just going to trim away the part of the iron-on that I didn't use because I'll put it in my leftovers and use it on a smaller project. No use wasting it, and then I'll weed. So there we go, we have our project all weeded. I think it's going to be really cute. I'm going to get set up with my easy press ready to apply this and I hope you'll keep watching. So I'm going to be pressing this stormtrooper that we just cut and weeded onto a t-shirt for my grandson. He recently met a stormtrooper at our Disney trip and loves stormtroopers now. So we'll go ahead and do that. Of course, we'll start by warming our fabric for a few seconds, preparing it to receive our base layer. And we'll line this up centered. That looks pretty good. And this is two layers, so we'll press the first layer for 10 seconds only. I have my easy press set for 315 degrees and 30 seconds. And that's 10 seconds. Take away our carrier sheet. And we'll line up our second layer. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and press our second layer. And this time we'll go the full 30 seconds. And we're getting closer to the new Han Solo movie. It's only two weeks off. I can't wait to see it. I'm such a Star Wars fan. And I think it's so fun that my grandchildren love Star Wars too. That's just amazing. Almost done. Okay, as always, we turn our t-shirt over and press from behind for five to ten seconds. I'll go ten. There we go. Peel away our cover. And there we have it. Oh, he's going to love it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please attempt to upload images into Design Space. It's so fun and so easy to do. Thank you for watching.